God is good all the time. <laughs> yes. Wow. It takes after for Paul Paul. I heard him say it ain't him either. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. I was out I was out singing one day, practicing and practicing and practicing and and uh uh DC's mom was sick, can you please go outside and do that? And I said, don't you enjoy my singing? She says, yeah, I do, but I want the neighbors to know I ain't beating you. <laughs> Get your Bible out to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 22. This is kind of, I, didn't, I never really expected all this to be this way. I, I, when I first started on this, it actually was going to be uh, just one story about uh, one story about Nehemiah, I had no idea that it was going to just keep on going and going and going. So this is the last one. And this is not just about uh, Nehemiah, but it's about a lot of other people also. But I, I want you to understand that, that God's trying to call us some, to something big. This, what you see right now, is a genesis going on. It's not only a genesis going on, what you see is we're priming the pump. I really believe next year this time we're going to have to have places for people to sit. I really believe that. We've just got to stay with it, try to pump, and watch what God will do. Amen? Somebody say amen. amen. Don't leave me hanging. Amen. 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 God, God is awesome. All the time. All the time. God is awesome. Yes. Uh, get your Bible out. Turn to Ezekiel 22. Ezekiel 22. Stand for the reading of the word. Ezekiel chapter 22. God is so awesome. Wasn't that just an awesome? The praise team was awesome. Uh, Sierra Gump the singing was awesome. God has just got an awesome group of people here uh, hid in the little town of Edward, which I believe is not going to be hid very long because God's doing something special. Amen? All of us have got something to do. And this is going to be part of it. This last couple of weeks of building the wall has got something to do with it. And today, this has got something to do with it. 